Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on a generator called Grayscale Conversion. So let's uh, explore that on our meet mat. So uh, we have this uh, simple uh, scene. Uh, so let's take a smart material here uh, We have a lot of materials and randomly we can put anything on top of it. So let's drop this guy For convenience sake just I'm adding this uh, Material to all of them, but we'll mainly work on the head. Okay? So you have some material on top of it, right? And now um, I'll, I'll drop another material on top of this, which is going to be a layer above it, okay? Now I'll add a mask to it, which should be a, a white mask. Let's take a generator and then start uh, using this gray scale conversion, okay? So grayscale conversion is more like a shuffle node in some cases and uh, desaturate node in some cases. So we'll be using this particular uh, generator, okay, which is going to work like a mask. So it, I, uh, there's nothing in that layer, so everything became zero there. Now let me just go to the source group and here we have a different uh, images. So I'm going to take this particular image, which is uh, basically yellow, green, and red. So what that actually is, um, let me just check with the ID. Okay. So this is green area, this is yellow, and this is red. And if you could able to see, green is commonly found in this area, and red is also found in this area. Where green plus yellow uh, sorry red plus green becomes yellow okay so let me come back to our material and then we have grayscale conversion and then we have this drop down here so what actually uh, this tool is doing is it is uh, desaturating this particular image and whatever the value is there that value is driving the transparency so i'll directly go to the red channel here and then you should able to see wherever the red was there that area is now opaque and the rest of the area became transparent so we have another channel active in that which was green so that was here so we were able to mask this based on rgb channels which uh, most more works like a shuffle node in nuke okay uh, apart from that, you can actually uh, desaturate that. You can um, mask it by the luminance values. You can average the colors. You have max value. You have min value. And you have reds. So these are uh, on which, on the basis which this whole um, tool is actually affecting this image. Uh, what if if I have uh, something else, let's say I want to um, paint RGB channels in Substance Painter and I want to use them. So how do I do it? Uh, I just try to uh, make use of anchor points here. So I'll be taking a simple uh, uh, fill layer. Okay. And I'm not going to use any of this uh, utilities, just a base color. And then I'm going to uh, use a paint layer in it. Uh, but before going into that, the fill layer should be completely black. And then we have paint here. And then I'm going to choose some red color. And then uh, again, I'm just using simple color here. Okay. So let's uh, paint. red there okay then uh, i'll be choosing
green so let's type green then blue okay so you got red green and blue written here it's there here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select that okay and then add a filter called um, anchor point so this anchor point is going to sit on the paint layer so whatever um, this layer is there below it is going to be referred somewhere else so let's come back here and then we have gray scale and here we'll choose the anchor point which is the full layer one okay now let's bring it back and you should see red channel and then we have the green channel then you have blue channel so you can generally use masking of rgb channels or you have a red channel in in any of the textures you brought uh, from any of your source applications you know it's a very common practice to bring rgb channels as masks so mask as rgb channels and then that can be used here and then you can generally um, mask them based on the channel and uh, if you got a black and white image you can just do a grayscale uh, conversion from a color image so that's the grayscale conversion mode for you